It's time for you to do you. Welcome into our broadcast of You're Enough. I'm your host, Nikki. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like, and share. And don't forget to jump over to our Instagram page at Nikki G. McCray. Give us your support over there. We really, really appreciate that. Don't forget to hit that like button because it helps us reach more souls for those people who are broken and who need to hear these messages. Thank you for supporting our products. Our book, Becoming a Master of the Divine Consciousness, and our benevolence candles. We're so grateful for you. We're grateful to God for your testimonials that this book is helping you. Get this book for somebody that you love. Get this book for your children. I want you, those of you who have, who have kids, you have a blended family, let them know we're here on this platform because the enemy wants our children at a young age. They want that kid. They want that child at a very vulnerable state. But we're going to plead the blood of Jesus because God is going to redeem our children. He's going to save and deliver our kids. It's time now for you to focus on you. It's time for you to focus on your dream. You're going to take a lot of heat. You're going to get a lot of heat. You're going to get a lot of arrows thrown at you because at this point in your life, you've made that decision to be all about you. Don't feel guilty for being all about you. Let people fall off if they need to fall off. Every bad apple is going to fall off. When that weight gets too heavy for some people, that dead fruit is going to drop off and fall to the ground. You had a lot of rotten people in your life. You had a lot of people who had bad fruit, that had bad seeds on the inside of them. This is why people are dropping off because they've gone as far as they can go. And God has taken the mask off of a lot of people who you thought were authentic in your life, who you thought really loved you, who you thought really valued you, who you thought that were there for you. Some people hung in there with you long enough to see how they can benefit from your life. When people saw they could not no longer benefit from your life, when it looked like you had nothing else to offer, people dropped you. They forsook you. They left you. They ghosted you. They no longer talked to you. They no longer had anything to do with you because, family, it looked like your life was not going anywhere. It looked like your life was a train wreck getting ready to happen. It looked like you were going down to a pit, to a bottom, and you weren't going to bounce back. Do you know this was all a setup from God? This was the hand of God. This was nobody but the hand of God. This is why people will be in regret. This is why people will not understand how you can get from where you were to now. Because when they left your life, it looked like you were going to stay there. It looked like you were not going to grow. It looked like your dreams was just that, just a dream. People thought you were talking just to talk. People thought you were talking just to hear yourself speak. That wasn't the case. God knew something that you didn't know at the time. God heard conversations that you didn't hear. He saw things that you didn't see. God was in the midst of people at a roundtable discussion about you, laughing at you as to how you are never going to get to the place you're thinking to be. So God knew that. God saw that. So what did God do? God called a disruption. God came in and severed relationships. God came in and severed friendships. Do you know not, not know how much God loves you? Do you know God is not going to sit by and let the devil just do what he wants to do in your life? Do you not know that God will reveal to you the fake people in your life? He's doing that for you so that you can get out of the place you're in and to the place that you want to be. Some people that you were connected to were holding up your blessings. Some people that you had around you, they weren't blessing. They were not blessing you. You were being a blessing to them, but they weren't being a blessing to you. And they were actually holding up your blessings. This is why some of your blessings were on hold. God put it on hold because God was not going to allow you to fatten up your enemies. He didn't call you to fatten up your enemies. God called you to pray for your enemies because they know not what they do. People didn't know who you were. People didn't know what they were doing and they didn't know who they were doing it against. See, when people do things against you, they do it against God first. The world hated Jesus first. They didn't love him. They rejected him. So when you're a part of his fold, they're going to reject you. You are of God's kind. You are of God's fold. You are of light. And the world hate you because you're not their own. Let me tell you something, people of God. Those of you who are tuning in today, if the world loves you and you call yourself a born again believer, you're not of God's fold. The world loves its own. So they're supposed to hate you. They're supposed to put stumbling blocks in your way. They're supposed to mistreat you. 
because they did the same to our Lord. But he kept his mind on what he was called to do. You have to stay focused. You have to stay sober-minded. You have to stay vigilant on what you're called to do. You cannot get off course. You can't allow the enemy to give you distractions so you can miss your moment, so you can miss your opportunity, so you can miss your window of miracle, so you can miss your window of breakthrough and deliverance. Stay focused on where you're going. Be selfish with your own life. It's time for you to be selfish with you. It's time for you to make yourself a priority. It's time for you to go forth and run after your dream, run after your destiny. It's time for you to do what you need to do for you. It's time for you to do what matters to you. It's time for you to do what makes you happy, what puts a smile on your face. You don't have people in your corner that makes you sad and keeps you upset and keep you on a roller coaster emotionally. Remove these people from your corner. Remove these people from your life. Not saying that you won't go through certain things in life with certain people that God did assign to you. That's true. But you're going to have more good than bad. If you're around people that bring you more bad than good, God didn't send you these people, family of God. Don't overcompensate and you have nothing left for you. You've overcompensated. You've overgiven to people who didn't give you a half a percent of what you gave them. You filled everybody's cup. Where's your cup? Who's going to fill your cup? Fill your own cup and learn how to pour into the lives of people who give you equal reciprocity. When people don't give you equal reciprocity, it's time for you to reevaluate what you're doing with this person and why you're doing it. A lot of things you do in life because you've been broken, you've been abandoned, and you feel like if you give, 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 give to people who don't even give to you, if you support people who never support you, you do these things out of a trauma bond. You do these things out of that brokenness that you haven't identified, that you don't confront yet. And if you don't, you can't heal. Identify that brokenness. Confront that trauma bond. Confront it. Come face to face with it so you can heal. Be about you. It's time for you to be about you. And the people who are not really there for you authentically, they're going to have a problem with that. But you don't care, family. Don't care about it because you got one shot. You got one shot. That means we got one life right here, right now. So the gifts that God gave you, you got to use them for his good. You got to use your gift for God's glory. No matter what gift that God gave you, you got to use this gift to bring glory to God's kingdom. You have been made a disciple. You are a student. Your pupil were learners. But now we have to go and bear witness of the name. We have to show people the way. And people are going to look at that by the life that you live. The life you live in right now is going to speak for you. Let the life you live give God glory. Let the life you live, let everything you do, let it glorify God. God is telling you to put yourself first. Learn to put yourself first. How can you be comfortable doing this when you know how worthy that you are through God? You are the righteousness of God. Through Christ Jesus, you're going to make it. Sometimes you got to feel your way to the top. The righteous man will fall seven times, but God said, I'm going to pick him back up. You haven't fallen until you stop giving up. You haven't fallen until you give up. That's when you've fallen. When you fall and you don't get back up, that's when you have fallen. But if you fall, you get back up and you keep trying, you're going to get to the top. You're going to get to the place. But you need to be. Plead the blood before you leave your home. Plead the blood before you walk out that door. Plead the blood over your vehicle. Plead the blood over your children, over your whole family. Everything that God has given you, you plead the blood. Don't never leave your home without applying the blood. Never leave your home. Never leave wherever you're going without prayer. Because we have an enemy that's coming to kill, steal, and destroy. God came that you should have life. Be aware. Be sober-minded. And be vigilant. Learn how to be selfish with your life now. Learn how to put you first now. Do it, family. You deserve it. You're worthy. Don't let people think make you feel you were unworthy. You are worthy. You're not damaged goods. You're not. You're so much more. You're so much better. God bless you. We love you. Bye-bye.